Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEBS Sub School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School Morningship. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 18 of annual term and today's SW number will be 12. My dear student, our today's chapter name, chapter 12. Okay. And the name of the chapter is time. Okay, and on today's topic name, exercise 12. From exercise 12, we shall solve question number 7, 8 and 9. Question number 7, 8 and 9 as your CW. And only what problem number 9 will be your SW also. So my dear student, you must do your assign SW in your SW copy and submit it regularly in your school campus in every Saturday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So my dear student, let us start our class. We have already written the question on the board. 7 number question, convert the following time written in the 12 hour clock to the 24 hour clock. My dear student, before starting to solve this math, at first you need to know how many types of clock are there. There are two types of clocks. One is 12 hour clock and another is 24 hour clock. So here the time is written in 12 hour clock. We want to convert this time into 24 hour clock. How can we convert? So notice number 1. 3 p.m. My dear student, 3 p.m. So, if we want to convert this time into 24 hour clock, we add 20, uh, 12 hour to this time and we get the required, uh, required time. My dear student, we know 24 hour clock does not use any type of p.m. or a.m. So, the time will be without written any pm or am so how can we solve question number one first notice seven one the given time is given time is three zero zero pm so the required time in 24 hour clock will be 3 0 0 plus 12 0 0 we don't use any type of am or pm because we know 24 hour clock does not use any am or pm now we do addition 0 0 then 0 0 0 then 0 12 plus 3 it is 5 1 so 15 so 15.00 is the required time when we convert this 3 p.m. into 24 hour clock and this is the answer. Answer 15.00. Okay. Then question number 2. Notice 11.24 p.m. 11.24 p.m. So given time is is 11. 11:42 p.m. So the required time in 24 hour clock will be 11:42 plus 12:00. We don't use any PM or AM because we know 24 hour close does not use any AM or PM. So now we add 0 to then it will be 2, 0 4 it will be 4 <coughs> and this sign 2 plus 1 it will be 3, 1 plus 1 it will be 20. So 23, 23 hour and 42 minutes. So answer is 23.42 that means when we convert 11.42 pm into 24 hour clock then we get 23 hour 42 minutes ok next question <coughs> question number 3 given given time is 0 to 0 am so here write 0 to 0 a.m. 
my dear student, when the time is given in AM, then it is remain unchanged. That means here you notice, we write since the time is in AM. So, the required time in 24 hour clock will be 0 to 0 without AM or PM because in 24 hour clock AM and PM is not used. So this is the answer 0 to 0. Now question number 4. So the question number 4 is 12.00 AM. So my dear student given time is at first we write the time 12.00 PM. PM not it is AM. My dear student 12.00 AM. In 24 hour clock, <coughs> in 24 hour clock, uh, 24 hour clock, this time is converted 0000 AM. Okay. So, write since the time is in AM, so the required time will be 0 0 0 0 ok and answer is 0 0 0 0 my dear student why we write here 0 0 0 0 cause we know this time is 12 0 0 am and as am we don't use uh, we do not convert this uh, with the addition of 12 but here you notice it is starting time is 0000 so as 12, 12 hour clock it is written as 12.00 am so in 24 hour clock that time will be 0 hour 0 minutes that means it is the starting time in 12 hour clock the time is 12.00 am but in this same time when we use 24 hour clock and that time will be 00 hour and 00 minutes that means 00, 00 is the required answer so my dear student this is done next question number 8 convert the following time in the 24 hour clock to the 12 hour clock so my dear student in this case we do addition but in this case we do subtract we do subtract so how can notice number one given time is 0 to 0 4 given time is 0 to 0 4 my dear student when we do subtract the, when the number is greater than 12, then we do subtraction. But when the time is greater than less than 12 hours, then we don't subtract. We just use AM or PM. As we don't subtract any, a, uh, any 12 hour clock, so it, it will be AM. That means anti meridian. Okay. So the required time in 12 hour clock will be 0 to 0 4 a m and answer 0 to 0 4 that means 2 hour 4 minutes a m so number 1 done number 2 1535 given time is given time is 1534 
so the required time in 12 hour clock will be my student notice this time 15 hour that means it is greater than 12 so now we do subtract that means 15 34 minus 12 0 0 minute okay am or pm as it is greater than 12 so it must be pm so here we write pm post meridian so 34 so this sign and 12 uh, to 15 it will be 3 so 3 34 pm and answer is <coughs> 3 34 pm <coughs> next on my dear student next one is 24 0, 0. so 3 number first of all you write given time is 24 0, 0. this is greater than 12 so we do subtract so the required time in 12 hour clock will be 24 0, 0 minus 12 0, 0. AM or PM we use here AM okay so when subtract 12 0, 0 AM answer is 12 0, 0 AM and only we use 11 5 9 pm but when it fills 12 hour then in 12 hour clock we use here pm and we know that okay it's very easy so then question number four similar way we write given that the time is what given that this time is 21 21 13 so the required time in 12 hour clock will be we do subtract 21 13 minus 12 0 0 this time we use pm cause it is greater than 12 now we do subtract and we get 13 and 2 to 11 we get 9 so 9 30 pm 9 13 pm 9 13 pm is the required answer my dear student this is the conversion a uh, 12 hour clock to 24 hour clock and 24 hour clock to 12 hour clock it is so easy now my dear student we shall do our what problem 9 a train left one city at 11 11 50 and arrived at the destination at 1525 how many hours and minutes did it take my dear student the time is given in 24 hour clock i repeat the time is given in 24 hour clock so my dear student at first we write nine number hour and clock which time is greater 15 25 is greater it is the destination time so at first we write 20, 15 hour and 25 sorry it is minute not clock minutes and leave time is 11 hour and 50 minutes we do subtraction but my dear student notice this 25 is greater than 50 so we cannot subtract 50 minutes from 25 minutes so we borrow one hour from this that means we know when one hour is converted to minute then it will be 60 minutes and that 60 minutes is added to 25 and it will be 85 and when we take one hour from this and this will be 14 hour so here we write hour minutes when we take one hour from this and it will be 14 and when one hour is converted to minute that will be 60 and 60 plus 25 and it will be 85 minutes and this 11 is written here and 50 is also written here now we do subtraction so 
we subtract 0 from 5, we get 5. We subtract 5 from 8, then we get 3. We subtract 1 from 4, we get 3. So, 3 hour 35 minutes. Okay. I hope you have understood. So, how many hours and minutes did it take? So, here we write, it took 3 hours 35 minutes minutes to reach the destination. Answer 3 hours 35 minutes. And my dear student, it is your SW. Also, only this question will be your SW. So, my dear student, I hope you have understood my today's lecture. Keep practicing at home. Abide by your parents' use. Until then, Assalamualaikum.